Hello to all dear friends. Welcome to the AI Border Channel. Do you remember about two weeks ago I made a video and showed you how I created a 3D model of my son's favorite toy for his birthday using Hydem 3D? That video got a lot of feedback and many of you asked if this tool will get updated or not. Well, the good news is that the new version of Hytem 3D version 1.5 has been released. This version is not only stronger, but it has brought features that are truly exciting for designers, animators, and even ordinary people like me. In this video, I want to once again show you with a simple story. This time, I decided to choose one of my son's favorite cartoon characters and build it with the new version of Hytem 3D. At the same time, we will also test together the new features such as texture support, professional outputs, and higher accuracy of models, and see what the real difference is compared to the previous version, and even tools like Tripo. So, stay with me until the end of the video because we are going to see a really exciting result. In addition to the new updates to the site itself, Item has also recently released a Japanese version of its own, which is much friendlier and more user-friendly for Japanese users. For the site via the link inside the description. From the top of the page, click on Sign Up. You can log into the site either with email and password or with a Google account. From here, you need to upload your picture. This picture can be uploaded in JPG, JPEG, PNG, or even WebP format. In the new version, the accuracy of the reconstruction has been greatly improved, especially for the portrait model. That is, if you upload a human face or character, the result will be much more realistic than before. I uploaded a photo of the character in question. From the bottom section, select the resolution from these four options. One important point is that the 512 resolution mode is specially designed for enthusiasts. It allows users to get their desired model with fewer points making the process faster and the overall experience much smoother. Click on the texture section to make your character more beautiful and detailed. Another highlight of version 1.5 is stage generation. Instead of generating both geometry and texture at once, you can first build the geometry and then add the texture. This gives you more flexibility, reduces unnecessary integration costs, and helps you fine tune your model exactly the way you want. Finally, click on Generate, and you have to wait a few minutes for the 3D model to be completely created. While our model is getting ready, let me show you something cool on the main page. Down here, there are a series of sample models generated with this tool. You can see that the models rotate 360 degrees, and there are really amazing details in the models. Even though you only upload one picture, this tool even reconstructs the side that's not visible in the photo with maximum detail, which I found really amazing, because you no longer need to upload a thousand pictures from different different angles to create a model. This part is really fun for me because it has tried to compare itself with other 3D model creators and in this field competes with rivals. If you'd like me to make a video for you and compare it with other tools like Meshi, tell me in the comments. Our 3D model is ready. I'm honestly astonished by the level of detail in this model based on the picture. It's really amazing. I don't know what to say. You can see and compare it yourself. We have several output formats for the model, GLB, OBJ, STL, and FBX. For example, STL is very useful for 3D printing, but I usually prefer FBX, OBJ, or GLB. The 3D models you create with Hydem 3D are ready to use in game development, animation, AR, VR, 3D printing, and even selling in 3D model marketplaces. Let's try something else. For example, let's use this vase. I upload its picture and set the resolution. It took about three minutes for the result to be ready, and boom! You can see how amazingly it turned this vase into a 3D model. Another useful feature here is the retry function. The result isn't exactly what you expected. You don't need to start everything from scratch. Just hit retry and the tool will regenerate a new version, often with improved accuracy or small differences that better match what you want. If you want your model to be truly detailed and impressive, relying on just one photo is very limited. That's why Hytem introduced a brand new feature called Multi-View to 3D. With this option, you can upload multiple photos photos of your object from the front, back, left, and right. The system then combines them with maximum precision to create an ultra-realistic 3D model. All you need to do is select your photos, set the model quality at the bottom of the page, keep the texture option enabled, and hit generate. In just a few moments, your model is ready. In this new version, there's also a fantastic feature called retry. If the generated result isn't exactly what you wanted, you don't need to start everything from scratch. With just one click, you can regenerate a new version. 
If you do a simple search on Fiverr about 3D design, you can see people who work in this field and send them the models you made with this tool so they could value it for you. I did this, and even if you buy the max account of this tool for one project, it still turns out cheaper than having someone else design it for you with Blender or any other tool. In the new version of Hytem 3D, a very useful feature has been added called model sharing. That means you can share your created 3D models with just one click. This feature is very useful for team collaboration and also if you want to quickly show your models to a client or colleague. By the way, an important point, the paid version of Hytem 3D is now active. That means you can, depending on your need, choose between different subscription plans or buy credits separately. This is very important because sometimes you only need a model for one project, and sometimes your work is more professional, and you want to always have access. In my opinion, the flexibility of these plans makes it possible for beginners to use it, as well as professional designers who are looking for higher quality. Now it's your turn. With the explanations I gave, I think it's worth it at least once to try this tool and get an output from it. By the way, I, I will also put the photo of the model I built with a 3D printer in the channel for you. In my opinion, this update has made Hytem 3D surpass many of its rivals like Meishi and Tripo. If you would like me to make a full comparison video, tell me in the comments. And if you want to test it yourself, I have placed the link in the description. As you know, this is AI Border, and I make videos for you daily so that you are always up to date. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Until the next video, goodbye.